Okay, here we go. This is um, the aggregator transformation in Informatica, in case you were wondering. This is probably the second or third most used transformation in Informatica. It's similar to a group by, but we don't want to make those same mistakes. In fact, one of the friendly names we have for it is called the aggravator transformation. So with that, let's talk a little bit about it first. Um, its purpose, obviously, is to roll ro rows together, uh, similar to a group by in a SQL statement. Um, it has some additional features that you don't find in group by statements in SQL, and we'll cover what those are. It is a visual order determination, and obviously it aggregates data, so why else would it be around, right? We can aggregate two types of data. We can take sorted data and unsorted data, and the aggregator actually works in two different formats, as we're going to demonstrate on the board uh, for each kind of those. Now, one of the things to note, <coughs> excuse me, is that it's called an active transformation. And actually, we will co uh, cover active and passive transformations in the data flow rules uh, a little bit later on in this section. So let's continue on here. A little bit of review before we jump into the tool on aggregate, uh, aggregator. Sorry about that. The uh, aggregator, as you see here, we have turned on a group by port. We've got city, zip, and name in a specific order. And we've turned on group by for city and zip and state in this particular case. Just like every other transformation is based on the visual uh, acuity, uh, the aggregator is also based on visual positioning of the particular group by ports. So that means if I move the state port up to, or the state field up to position two, or up to position one above city, it would be considered the first in the list of the group by statements. One of the other things I want you to take note of is that aggregators are not sorters. Despite what you might see, despite what you might want to believe, an aggregator does not double as a sort mechanism. It doesn't work for a sorter. It's a different physical algorithm. It's called a clustering algorithm. It's not a sorting algorithm, which means that once it achieves a city, state, and zip, when it has a duplicate, it will pull that together, and you might get different orders of data beyond that. So it is not a sorter. It should not be used as a sorter, and if you're using it as a sorter, shame on you. Okay, beware. Aggregates are case sensitive. They're space sensitive, so if you have a preceding space or you have a trailing space, the aggregator will take that into account. And the keys, obviously, those take RAM for indexing. So you want to be very careful. An aggregator has several functions or forms to it regarding its memory settings. And we're going to take a look at that now. So again, here is the session shared memory. And outside of the session shared memory, we have a transformation in the stream called an aggregator. Um, the aggregator has a position for data cache, and it has a position held in memory for index cache, and uh, we cover these in detail in the performance and tuning. When these caches fill up, they overflow to the disk uh, on the Informatica server, and in this directory, it's called the uh, TMP directory on the Informatica integration service server. So, you have to be careful with how you allocate the RAM for the data in the index cache. The files here are .idx and .dat. So in case you're running uh, your session and you want to see how much is getting dumped to disk, you can take a look at the files out there in the temp directory while you're running. Uh, uh, be aware that this is all memory or RAM based. And so these calculations play into the 32-bit architecture. So with that, let's take a look at what the aggregator looks like inside of a mapping. Just a brief look. We're going to open up the designer. And the aggregator icon is the mathematical symbol for aggregating 1 to n. That's uh, here. Well, we're going to press that icon one time, drop it in the mapping. And here is the aggregator transformation. 